and they had an issue with groundwater, too much groundwater that came up and flooded the home and damaged a lot of their house. I'm Brad Levitt, president of AFT Construction. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure and hit that like, comment, subscribe. If you have any comments or topics you want us to address, let us know and we'll make sure to do that in the next episode. So in this episode, we're gonna be speaking about groundwater and there's a couple different aspects uh, in regard to groundwater to pay attention to. As far as Arizona, understand the climate here in our part of the country, we're in a desert climate, right? It's, we don't get a ton of rain. When we do get rain, it comes down very quickly. And Arizona as a desert, we do have aquifers. So there's aquifers on the ground in Arizona. Uh, even though we're in the desert, we have that water source. However, the population growth has really uh, increased here in the valley. And it's really important to understand water conservation and how we implement that in our designs. You know, this has been an ongoing topic here in Arizona, the groundwater issue, that we're depleting the, the aquifers that have been around for hundreds of years, thousands of years, and to make sure that we're replenishing those and also thinking about water conservation in our homes. And there's a lot of technology that has come a long way in regard to, uh, from plumbing fixtures we use, you know, leak detection, but more importantly, as you start thinking about the house and landscape design, a lot of times we're building a natural desert. And one thing that I feel that the, some of the HOAs have done a great job is understanding the succulent plants. And this is why it's really important to speak with the good landscape architect, especially here in Arizona, to make sure that we're inst installing vegetation that's natural to the desert. Now what that means is that less water, a lot of these are more sustainable. We don't have to have drip lines installed. You know, these are plants that can sustain the desert climate that we have, especially those hot summers. Another big thing is, you know, as we look at, you know, some people that want that look or feel of grass, you know, artificial turf that doesn't need a ton of, uh, of water, you know, to keep that, that lawn nice and green. And so groundwater is really important. I'll give another example in another part of the country, right? In the Midwest, uh, a, a friend of ours who had a home and there was too much rain. They got a ton of rain in a short amount of time and they had an issue with groundwater, too much groundwater that came up and flooded the home and damaged a lot of their house. And it was a, an issue with their insurance because their insurance company had a disclosure that they don't cover groundwater, right? Any damage from groundwater, if that increases the other way, which is a little bit opposite of us here in Arizona. Regardless, it's super important that you're making sure as you're looking through homeowner's insurance policies, does it cover groundwater? Is that a possible issue? For us in Arizona, maybe outside of groundwater are flash floods, right? A lot of our projects, as far as the civil engineering, we're dealing with 100-year flood zones. This is from a federal level, from FEMA, as well as a local level. It's held up a lot of our permits as we go through these cycles. And the reason being is that there are flash floods, there are big rainstorms that come, and that can cause a lot of damage to the home, of which the insurance companies are trying to um, work around that, as well as us as um, home builders, that that can create an issue and warranty issues for us, as well as the city that doesn't want to be responsible. So make sure you're working with a good civil engineer to understand the potential of groundwater flash floods. Make sure you understand the water moisture content of the soil here in Arizona. Right now at this project we're at, we have expansive soil. And so this is, uh, can be very destructive to builders. A lot of times with expansive soil, depending on the soils report, which is very important that our clients get a good soils report, is we'll check that to make sure if we have to do post-tension slabs. A lot of time we'll do that because of the expansion and uh, contraction. Or maybe the engineer will recommend like a mesh slab and then we over excavate, recompact, you know, take a lot of that topsoil off and then check that moisture content as well. So again, good uh, landscape architect, good civil engineer, understand your homeowner's insurance, work with a consultant to make sure that you're covered uh, in case you don't have a groundwater clause and just make sure you understand how we can be a little bit more conservative with our water source.